Crystal Copperstone, and I'm here at CHA with Globecraft. Um, and what we're going to do is some steampunk fun. And these are our card decor. So, um, and what we have is um, a layout like this of the card decor. We've actually made four cards using the one sheet. And we also have a whole set that has the steampunk, because that's what everybody really likes. Look at this fun little steampunky stuff. And one of the things that a lot of people that don't even know that they can do is it's called flash heating. Our embossing powders have been specially made to look vintage or aged, um, bronze, they look like metals. So I'm going to take one of our laser cut steampunk pieces and make this look very old by flash heating. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take, um, this is the same thing as using Versamark. We put it in a bottle so that when you're doing a bigger piece, see how I can get this all wet a little bit faster than, you know, using the Versamark pad. Okay. And then this is our vintage copper and it has some patina in it. It's really fun. So what now what's the price point on this? The, the, um, these are $6 a bottle, and it comes in a bottle this size. And these retail for $4.95 a sheet, one of these sheets. And you, you want to kind of mix up your embossing powders because we have a lot of really cool metal colors all mixed in here. So to get that whole look, sometimes you can get too much of one color if you don't you know, mix those. And I, and you know, sometimes you can miss a spot, so I like to go back in and go over the top. Now, one, another really cool thing about these embossing powders is you can do layers upon layers. So if you melt it down too much, you can do another layer, and um, you can just keep going. And what I want to do is show you how to make it so that it's bumpy and aged and old. And on this one... I've used several different colors of our embossing powders, and I did the heat flashing. Now, um, what I'm going to do is turn on this fan. You can just kind of blow on it, but it's nice to have the fan because I get dizzy because I do it so many times. Not that I'm already dizzy enough. All right, so I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to start to heat this. And when I notice that it starts to heat... I'll kind of go all the way around it and start to set in some of those embossing powders. And when I notice that I start, you can see where it starts to melt, that's when I cool it. And this is what this flash heating is all about because instead of it melting it all the way down, it stops the melting process and it, and it makes it look bumpy, which is giving us this really old aged patina look. And it takes a little bit of time, you know, rather than just doing the um, the whole embossing all at once, because you got to stop the heat, start the heat, stop the heat, you know. But that's that look I'm going for. And then I love just to hit my um, my edges, and this will look like it's been outside in a shed for years and years, and it's gotten all pitted. So would you say this is a good vintage for the uh, for their good vintage projects and layers? Yes, vintage, um, old, Victorian, um, grungy, that kind of Tim Holtz thing. Um, it's just it's just so new and so fun. So how long has the company been in business? This company has been in business for uh, I'm not sure the exact amount of years. Long time making dolls. Uh -huh, dolls. Dolls, and it was its secret doll company, and then they um, started selling the globes, which are the picture frames that have the bubbles on them. So it's called Globecraft, and then we had to have other things to decorate the globes. So now we've added the chipboard to decorate the globes. And then we decided, well, we didn't want to just cover the globes with paper, so we added the embossing powders. With all these. Yeah. Yes. And then now we're able to make our globes look like metal. Oh, wow. So that they look like metal picture frames. So that's where this all started from. And we're adding and adding and adding and adding this product. Is, and this all is this our is chipboard. Powder, this and is chipboard. And it's all chipboard. But it's a really good book grade 
bookbinding grade chipboard. It's not just a real cheap flimsy chipboard. So we've been able to make jewelry with it also, which is right here. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and so, and we have we have just hundreds of new kits coming up that we're going to make more and more designs. And look at all of the gorgeous. Um, this is aged black. And um, what I just did this steampunk piece on is vintage copper, and then I have aged silver. Um, we have some gold and bronze. So lots, lots of metal looks. Um, and then the other thing that we have this is called plastique, and um, it can be used for a decoupage. It can be used as a glue. It can be used to seal this and it can give it a really nice gloss. This is one of our products, yep, our glass steam. And um, and it'll also, you can put it on really thick also so that you can get a nice glassy look. And it does come in a matte finish and a gloss finish. And so how so, long is the drying time on this? Um, if I put it real thin, about 15 minutes, I've actually, I've caked this stuff on so it's really, really thick and it still dries completely clear, but it'll have to set up, um, you know, overnight. It never gets cloudy. It is, um, it'll never turn yellow. It's flexible so your pieces can bend. And what's the price point on that? I don't even think we have a price set for that yet. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> well, we'll have to check the website. <laughs> we'll have to check the website. It's probably going to be about six or seven dollars for a bottle like that. It's going to be my guess. Awesome. It's not going to be too high. And how much of that do you get? Uh, it'll come just exactly awesome. like this with this applicator. So, awesome. and it will come in a matte and a gloss. Oh, that will be great. So, but that's how new it is. And what what we're thinking, and so everybody watching, you know this. This blog is going to just see how new this is. These are called piccolos. These embossing powders are piccolo powders, and this will be a piccolo sauce. Awesome. <laughs> so, <laughs> that way people won't forget it. And then we're also, we have these beautiful glitters, in which I just put, um, put that. I um, This is called our girls' night, and I embossed on that. And then I took the little flowers, so you can see I'm using the negative and the positive. And I just put our glitters on there. So um, it's just very fun. And you're with who again? Glowcraft Memories. Uh, thank you. Thank you.